people basically follow a very rigid plan and they're not very they're very conservative and uh, they don't uh, step outside the boundaries and I'm not sure why that is but uh, it seems to be the case most people anyway normally uh, if you go to the internet you can download little um, uh, petal templates where people cut out a petal shape uh, from a template and then you make um, uh, maybe 12 or 14 or whatever number of petals join them together and you've got your parabolic dish for um, solar cooking and everybody does a dish so like a little flower shape and you put your cooking pot in the middle and um, you cook with it. Or the most um, used parabolic dish in the world is called the SK14 and it's uh, designed in Germany. And it's pretty simple. It's just a dish. And um, But uh, Germany also has uh, uh, other people who have designed uh, parabolic solar cookers and they're quite different. One is uh, Wolfgang Scheffler, and his uh, thing isn't a dish at all. It's just uh, a section of a dish. So it might be a section over here somewhere. And uh, he just uses that section of the dish. And it seems to work quite well. In a, in a country in Africa called Chad, another German um, a German, I'm not sure what they are, um, um, aid organization maybe have made uh, another type of dish and it looks like uh, uh, something like this there's only two leaves to it so there's one uh, one side the other side and the cooking pot is here and the user can approach this and in chad people have the choice of the um, the SK14 uh, or this this is called the Papillon and people choose the Papillon uh, where the choice is given so that's pretty obvious that um, if the users prefer a Papillon uh, you would think that people will be making Papillons and people will be attempting to make them in North America too because there is solar cooking groups and they're pretty um, maybe even fanatical about it there's no Papillons or anything like that and one of the reasons is because of these templates but there's a guy in Norway and he goes by the name of Magnar on the internet and he introduced me to a different way of doing it and I never even I didn't really think much of it I didn't think it was going to be uh, much of an option at all um, one problem with parabolic dishes if you make it uh, the dish shape is it's a big problem uh, applying um, reflective material to the dish um, because you get wrinkles all over the place and every time you get a wrinkle a guy uh, has explained to me uh, every wrinkle is like a hole in the material so less wrinkles the better and a dish is curved in, in um, two planes basically so um, you're going to get wrinkles no matter what you do so Magnar introduced me to the idea of uh, cones. This part of the dish would be a cone uh, when you develop it out. And this part would be a section of a cone as well. And it ends up looking something like this. Section of cone here. And usually you won't have more than five or six cones. And these uh, just just rough. And then another cone in here. I'm doing a really horrible job of this. But anyway, uh, I I never thought that much of his cone idea because the the sides of it end up being very long. Like this might come out to here. But I don't make full dishes anyway. I only make half dishes. So. <clears throat> what I found was when you make a half dish, the 
180 degrees you get your guy something like this so so this is above here that's the half dish with a little extra and I found that a half dish fits very very well on uh, an 8x4 sheet of um, uh, corrugated plastic so that means you can make a dish and uh, um, if I my video editing software works nicely I'll show you a picture of a dish that I made I haven't um, uh, put the material on it yet but <clears throat> this is a whole new thing to me when you only make half a dish and I realized that with this method uh, you don't you're not confined to half dishes you can make the papillon thing pretty easily and uh, I want to show you another thing too here what I have done is I've made this circle which represents the target the same width as my uh, t-square so the same uh, diameter as the t-square and these lines represent rays of the Sun coming down so each between each line represents a shaft of light that's the same weight as the target. So what I discovered, and this is really, really neat, I think. Like, uh, I'm sure it's not a discovery to everyone. It's just a discovery to me. So the first, if you go across here at right angles uh, and uh, do a line like that, if you join up from one to the next, you get a 45 degree angle, which just happens to be the correct angle for a mirror going to the target. If you go down here to this one, dot dot, you've got the right angle to go to the target. If you go to here, dot dot again, you've got, oh what have I done? Oh sorry, I've done something really goofy. Here, dot dot again, you've got the right angle to go to your target. So anywhere you swing this you can do your mirror angle so just with this uh, you can swing it around and you can make you can very quickly design any uh, parabolic dish size you like with this um, cone method and um, they actually um, they're fairly good so here, here, and then go down to here, make the line, make the mark, uh, down to here. So I'm just doing this quickly to demo. And you see again, you have your parabolic dish shape. And uh, this is, uh, it's, it, it's only curved in one direction, so it's, it should be easy to uh, put the material on it. Of course, when you are doing this uh, technique, you're going to be using basically when you're doing uh, parallel lines to here. That's uh, good because not every design is going to be the same way as your T-square. Uh, you do a line there, uh, there, sorry, line up here. Uh, if you want. Oh, if you go from here, oh, sorry, sorry, here to down here, there's your, there's your mirror. So, anyway, this is a, a tremendously useful feature for when you're doing your designs. If you make these shafts of light the same weight as the diameter of your target you can design uh, a reflective mirror situation that will suit what you're doing and um, I, I have been starting at the 45 degree mark 